You're listening to Greater Good Radio Hawaii. Today's guest is Terence George, Vice President and Executive Director of the Harold K. L. Castle Foundation. He also serves on the board of the Entrepreneurs Foundation of Hawaii and the National Kidney Foundation of Hawaii. Please visit us online at greatergoodradio.com. So, Terrence, can you tell us maybe some examples that you see how businesses can implement either a social mission or team up with a nonprofit to make a difference and have it still impact their, I guess, their so-called bottom line? A couple of things I can tell you. One is uh, from a big company, Kaiser Hawaii, um, has created a program that we've provided partial support for while they're uh, planning to fully support it in the future. And it's a program that uh, allows all the folks who are on Kaiser plans for, uh, to have their kids from birth through, I think, all of their well baby visits to be furnished with a set of age-appropriate books to encourage reading aloud to the child. And research has shown that one of the most important things you can do to secure the educational success of your child later in life is to read to them as much as you can in those early months and years, really, even before preschool. Um, and Kaiser's made a commitment to this, um, and our foundation made a startup grant to help them expand their work. They just took it upon themselves to get it started. They were following on a model that Kaiser in California had developed and is now fully funding just out of their corporation. So that's one example from a big company. From small companies, I wanted to talk a little bit about the Entrepreneurs Foundation of Hawaii. Um, this is a, a foundation whose job is to help create the next generation of corporate philanthropists in Hawaii. Um, it's designed for startup companies, not necessarily just technology companies, but companies that are just uh, just starting out, relatively new, haven't yet had a liquidity event, either you know an IPO or getting bought out, but um, who agree to set aside a certain amount of shares that currently aren't worth very much, but might be in the future. And the deal is that once they do achieve a liquidity event, Half those shares stay with them, and they're able to create a their own corporate foundation or maybe a donor advised fund in the Hawaii Community Foundation, and the other half stay with the Entrepreneurs Foundation that allows it to go reach reach out and help others directly through grants and also through signing up more companies. And a lot of the up and coming companies in the future are already there. Hoku Scientific was the first company that uh, is a member of Entrepreneurs Foundation that did have a liquidity event, and it'll be really interesting to see what they decide to do. The neat thing is when you're starting up a company, the last thing you have time to deal with is what sort of community legacy you want to leave beyond just securing that next tranche of financing to stay alive, right? And yet most people really want meaning, um, and they want to have that legacy. And this is an easy way for them to uh, get help to start that even before they have time. It also allows the company's staff to learn about volunteer opportunities that they might be able to engage in in the limited time they have. Um, and it's been a really interesting new model in Hawaii. We'll see how it goes in the coming years, but I have a lot of hope for its success. How about for individual entrepreneurs, people that are feeling like maybe they're so busy doing what they're doing now, they mm -hmm. don't feel like they have time to you know, do these community things or be involved with nonprofits, and they think maybe later on, after I make it big, then I'll do that kind of thing. Right. What ideas do you have for something like that? Oh, gosh, there's a million. Um, I think for people who are really Internet savvy, there's a lot of ways that you can provide assistance now uh, through the Internet, and you can find out what's out there that's going on that will really strike your fancy. There are also, I think, important new avenues that we need to create in Hawaii for individuals to uh, provide resources that really have to do with their own background and their own strengths and inspire others. That includes but is not limited to service on a nonprofit board. Uh, when you're busy or when you're traveling a lot, it can be difficult to join too many boards, and I've tried to limit my own board service, although I'd love to serve on more. Um, I just don't have the time right now in my family life, and I think that's true of a lot of individuals, high-wealth individuals. What they can contribute is inspiration, though and guidance and advice. And I think that if we could figure out how we could develop a conversation among the entrepreneurs in the nonprofit world and the entrepreneurs in the for-profit world, you know, there's not that much that's different among, among them um, in terms of the willingness to start something new, the ability to make the connections and get things started, um, and then the willingness also to let go after it's successful and try something else that's new. And I think we need to figure out maybe through programs like this, how we might be able to make that connection. 
for a company that's、um, already running successfully, how would you go about getting involved in the community? Would you just say, just find something that you might be passionate about? For example, you know, collecting cell phones at your location and giving back that way? Or、mm-hmm. do you think that it has to be a business plan that's formed on that path? I think there's a couple of things that a, a, a well off large company can do, even a medium、uh, company can do.、Um, basically, ask the employees what they want. Figure out how you can、uh, stimulate the philanthropic creativity of your employees and ask them the question, or maybe in groups,、uh, focus groups, find out what do they know uh, that uh, is going on out there that really could benefit from the involvement of that, that corporation. I also think it'd be useful for、uh, many companies. Find、uh, that they do corporate philanthropy in line with their marketing work. And I personally believe, although I have mostly been on the nonprofit side of the fence in, in the working world, I have a feeling that if you don't connect it with marketing, but you connect it instead with what the greatest community needs are, the marketing will take care of itself and your image will, will, will increase. And there's, there's abundant examples of this. I think one really good one was、um, after、uh, 911, several of the banks.、Uh, Opened up every single branch and allowed people to contribute to a fund to help the victims of 911 in partnership with the Hawaii Community Foundation. And that allowed little kids to take in their pennies and just drop it in the, at, at the nearest bank. And it took advantage of the corporate infrastructure in the communities that the banks had. It、uh, connected with the philanthropic impulse that people had.、Um, and it just made for good business. Thank you so much, Terrence George, for coming in and visiting us on Greater Good Radio Hawaii. For more information on today's show or transcript, please visit us online at greatergoodradio.com. This is your host, Evan Leong, and Carrie Leong saying please join us next time for another episode of Greater Good Radio Hawaii.